What's happening, guys? Kevin here from SportsBoxBreaks.com coming at you live Friday afternoon, May 28th, 2021. Marathon break day, guys. 40% off all day today. Breaking as many as we can fill within reason. If it goes like 15 hours long, we might have to carry them over, but we're going to do our best here. Giveaway 40 is in effect. All right, the one we're breaking right now is 2021 Topps Heritage Baseball. Half case break number nine. So six box, half case Break number nine. Who has who in this break? Arizona D-backs going to Doug F. The Atlanta Braves going to Matthew P. Baltimore Orioles going to Neil C. Boston Red Sox, Doug F. The Chicago Cubbies, Mike T. Chicago White Sox, Neil C. Cincinnati Reds going to Christopher J. Uh, Cleveland Indians, Doug F. The Colorado Rockies, Matthew G. Detroit Tigers going to Dean E. Houston Astros going to Christopher J. KC Royals going to Matthew P. Los Angeles Angels, Neil C. Los Angeles Dodgers going to Christopher J. Uh, the Miami Marlins, Brandon H. The Milwaukee Brewers going to Christopher J. Minnesota Twins going to Dan B. New York Mets, Christopher J. The New York Yankees, David S. The Oakland A's going to Jeremy W. Philadelphia Phils going to Christopher J. The Pittsburgh Pirates going to Natalino A. The San Diego Padres, Bill H. San Francisco Giants, Gary T. Seattle Mariners and the St. Louis Cardinals both belong to Dan B. Uh, Tampa Bay Rays going to Doug F. The Texas Rangers, Michael W. Toronto Blue Jays, Natalino A. Washington Nationals going to Christopher J. And we do sell a 31st spot in this one over and above the 30 MLB teams. And that is a catch-all for all the non-baseball content, all the 1972 cards and all that good stuff. Uh, all the non-baseball content belongs to Dan B. So Dan B. will be the recipient of all non-baseball. Okay, guys, you're looking at six boxes right here. I've got the big promo up on the right side there. But six boxes right there. Um, I opened up a sealed case of this product before I did this, pulled these six out. I've got the other six sitting off to the side. They're going to be break number 10, which is coming up next. Just wanted to keep things going. Get the boxes ready to go. All cards do ship as well, guys. Every card, every time when you break with us here at SBB. So doing our best. All right, the box topper is in this one. The oversized card box topper of Cody Bellinger, just loosey-goosey, not inside of a pack. So Bellinger is going to be the first box topper. Of course, those are going to ship to you guys as well. we got to go backwards on these as well, guys. Or is that archives? Which one is the backwards? Is it Heritage? Am I losing my mind? Is it Heritage? That's the backward cards for the actions and uh, all that good stuff. All right, let's do. Uh, let's start with one. It is Heritage, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In the top left-hand corner, in the little like arc right there, you're gonna see it say the word action or team color or things like that. Oh, we got a spammer. Got a spammer over on uh, on Twitch. Apologize for the puppy barks in the background, guys. Puppy is like uh, super high strung today. It's in the next room and he's going nuts. I know it's, you know, not super exciting to look at the back of cards, guys, but that's really the only way to break these in a reasonable time fashion to see what we're looking at as far as uh, as far as the variations go, which is why we reiterate over and over again that all cards do ship. It drives me crazy, though. Me, personally, I, I'm like, okay, quiet down in there, guy. We have, like, messages out to all these dog trainers, and nobody's getting back to us. Like, I don't know if all of a sudden it's, like, dog trainers across the greater Las Vegas area are, like, busier than ever. I'm like, come on. Try to train this guy ourselves, like really, you know, did all the research ahead of time. He's so hyperactive that I feel like he's untrainable. Like all he wants to do, as you can see, is like bite your hands 
and be extremely hyperactive. Never had a dog like this before. Need some CBD. They sell uh, they sell the animal CBD treats. I think we might have to get them on the weeds. All right, here we go. Let's start it off. So again, these are what the front face of the cards look like, but the way to really look at these, and let me get the camera focused in at a good point here. Hold on one sec while I do that. I mean, that's a pretty, eh, that's a pretty good point. We could adjust if needed. All right, so we're looking for in the little arc up top here, we're going to see things like action and team color and all that. So we're looking for that. Inside each box, there is either an auto or a relic. So there's one hit in each box, either a real one auto or the clubhouse collection relic. Let's get the camera adjusted a tad bit. That's better. All right, here we go. And if I pass something off, guys, that you want to see, before I get too far past it, please let me know, and I'll pull it back up into the camera and show you guys. The other half of this case will be coming up directly next. Uh, just to point this out, we're going to have some of these situations where there's a uh, dual player slash dual team card. If it's not a hit, and a hit is uh, classified with SBB as an auto, a relic, or a low numbered card, 50 or lower. If it is not a hit, it goes to the uh, team on the far left on the front face. So this will be an Orioles card. And the same applies to... Uh, to any of those cards that are dual team <clears throat> and are non-hit cards. All right, nothing yet. Okay, one stack down with nothing too interesting to look at yet, but that is what Heritage is. Second side, we're gonna find either an auto or a relic in this side. some more caffeine soon i'm already starting to get tired it's like one hour in two hours of sleep last night yep well here we go guys it's sitting right in front of me a little will smith action for the dodgers it is going to be a clubhouse collection clubhouse collection relic will smith so the first hit is going to the dodgers so we got the box topper bellinger for the dodgers and then we got the clubhouse collection relic Yep, he runs around, Tony, he's uh, our backyard, he does laps around it, like full speed laps without stopping. He's like a little tank, he like barrels into things, doesn't even care. I see something coming up. There it is, what do we got? Joe Adele, and that is our first something something, an action card for the Angels. Action of Joe Adele Angels. Yeah, they're technically corgis are like a working dog. They're like a herding dog from, uh, you know, kind of bred into their DNA. 
they try to like, you know, keep true to their DNA roots and they're like nipping at your heels trying to, you know, herd you. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, all right. You said you wanted a puppy. You got one. Now what? All right, what do we got on this one? Box topper wise, we got a poster on this one. We got three different options, I believe, right? That is a Kilbrew little old school poster for the twins. That's an empty box. Here we go. Nineteen seventy two top design. That big bubble font on this, it's like that like shagadelic like nineteen seventies shag wagon look, which is exactly what they're going for. Big van with free candy on the side of it pulls up, drops off a case of heritage. Jagging wagon. All right. <laughs> My brother, when he was like 16 or 17 years old, reminds me of the shagging wagon. He bought this like old school van that was exactly that. It was all done up inside full like bar there was like a wet bar with a sink i don't know how the hell you have water in this thing because it was like a it was a van you know it wasn't like a motorhome an rv that you hook up like water source to it um complete carpet top to bottom inside this thing <laughs> ridiculous Remember my father at the time this was like the early 80s was calling it like the clown wagon so good. All right. Next box. <clears throat> Again, going backwards. Let's find ROA, Real One Auto, is what we're looking for. We got something, something here. Chrome, Josh Bell, white frame. To nine ninety nine, white border technically, right? <clears throat> Coming off Diamond Kings, everything in my mind is a frame. New Age performers. All right, here comes a black border. Joey Wendell, black border. Very nice. Is black border to 50? Remind me of the numbering on those. I think it is, right? Tampa Bay. All right, there's one half.
It has been a minute since I've done this stuff from Vegas here. <clears throat> And here's another one, 372. Ooh, nice. Red border. Victor Robles for the Nationals. That's a nice card. Numbering to 372. 243 of 372. Nice stuff. Let's find a real one auto. Come on. All right, here it is. It is not a real one auto. It is a Clubhouse Collection Relic. Josh Hader, Milwaukee Brewers. So two boxes and two clubhouses so far. Hader, Milwaukee. Jay, you still out there? I know you were kind of, you know, talking about that um, Raiders slash Chargers game in January. Any possibility of making it out for that? Could spend gobs of money and buy tickets. I remember that, Tony. I remember that. I remember there was another one that was like a fake gum scent. They had the gum stain on it, which was fake. And then, if I'm not mistaken, they actually, maybe it was that very one, they actually had a scent that kind of like gave you the illusion that there was actual gum in there, but it really wasn't. Right? Is that Was that Heritage? All right, we got, what do we got? Little Clemente. Roberto Clemente with a poster for the Pirates. So silly. The first year we started doing these breaks, that year, Allen and Ginter, we, we decided to do Allen and Ginter, even though it was like, you know, gobs and gobs of cards. And we're like, yeah, let's do it. And they <laughs> that year... In the non-baseball, which that product has all kinds of crazy stuff in it, but that year they had a fossilized dinosaur bone as like a rare relic card you could pull in the non-baseball. We did not pull any of them, but I'm like, okay, a fossilized dinosaur card? Why not? Fossilized dinosaurs. Then which one was it? Was it Archives or which one had... One of them had... Not Field of Dreams. What's the uh, baseball movie with Tim Robbins and... Uh, it also had Kevin Costner in it. And then another year they had the... Um, the Major League players, I think, in it, right? I think they had uh, Ricky Vaughn and the whole crew. I can't remember which product was it. Was it Archives? It was one of the Topps products. Ooh, we got a... Uh, let's just look at it because it's right there. Number to 100. Very cool. Are these like a 206 size or what are they? Numbering to 100. John Gray for the Rockies. Pretty cool. I don't see too many of those.
these uh, these packs have like a static cling going on. They want to like stick to your hand. And the Sandlot cards as well. Yep. Remember he pulled some autos of some of the uh, actors. I think like we pulled like a Susan Sarandon or we might have pulled some interesting stuff. All right, let's start on this side. Again, we're going off the, the backs of them. I'm sure we've passed off some of the 1972 cards, but there's the first one I'm catching the front of. Apollo 17 lands on the moon, so that that's an example of the, uh, the non-baseball. But did it really land on the moon? <laughs> Conspiracy theories. Let's drum that conversation up. If you guys listen to Joe Rogan or watch the Joe Rogan podcast, the video version, he's talked about it and he's had, you know, some interesting people on there talking about, you know, the moon landings and all that stuff. And there's, I mean, obviously I believe they landed on the moon, but there's a lot of like really good uh, arguments against the fact that, you know, they actually did land on the moon. A lot of like photographic evidence that doesn't make sense, doesn't add up, like a whole bunch of stuff. Some fun videos to watch. And we got another one. Another one. Uh, number to 100 here. A little Yadier Molina. Nice. Molina to 100. So two of those. They're not minis. All right. There's one side. I knocked my camera a little bit. Let's get that back in. All right, we're still looking for our hit, and we got a number to 999 Chrome of Mookie. Nice, white border, 999. I'm just looking at that one because that one, like the little... Look at the difference in the back styling. It's got this tiny little arc. You know, I'm not even paying attention. Don't we have the uh, the 500 series as well? Like if the cards are numbered in the 500 series, they're, uh, they're something. I can't remember what we were looking at with the 500s. That's what happens when you don't break this stuff for a minute. You lose track of exactly what you're supposed to be looking for. Was it four to five hundred range? The SP is in the four to five hundred range, right? Yep, I haven't paid any attention to that. I mean, maybe we haven't even come across any, but I'm sure we have. The four twenty six to five hundreds. Well, going forward, in the next three boxes and the remainder of this, I'll look for them here. So the 419 doesn't fall in it. It's just 426, right? 426 to 500. So here we go, 471. So I will put that off in my sleeve stack. And here's a good one, guys. Did we get a hit in that one? We have one, two, <laughs> one in three packs. Um, did I pass off a hit or did they short us a hit? Let's just do a little quick fan through here. Uh, 
On the backs, though, they do say ROA when they are an auto, real one auto. Unless I missed it. If it's in here, we will find it, guys. Yeah. Well, we'll figure it out. And if by chance I can't, you know, find it here really quickly, we'll certainly find it during the sorting process. So <clears throat> Okay. Well, there's that. Let me pull <coughs> a bunch out from my little base bucket here. Nothing there. I don't exactly. The problem is I stacked some cards on top of cards here, and I don't know exactly where I left off. <clears throat> okay. Sounds good, Jay. Uh, let me keep looking through here. And again, if I can't find it here in real time, fellas, it will certainly be found during sorting. Oh, there it is. There it is. We found it in real time. That's what I missed. Like I said, it does say ROA, but I was looking for it in the curve. I forgot it actually says it straight across. So here it is, real one auto of Tyler Stevenson, rookie auto for the Reds. Reds belong to Christopher J. So there you go, Christopher. Congratulations. Glad I caught it there. So you can see it on camera. Congrats, congrats. So three boxes so far and two of them with relics, one of them with an auto. Yeah, nice hit. All right. One sec, I'm just offloading these cards, making space. We're halfway through it, guys. We're halfway through it. Here we go, next box. One sec. So 426 to 500. I'm just notating which stacks of cards I have off to the side that I wasn't paying attention to the 426 numbering so that I can look for it after the fact here. Casey Mize is our oversized card topper. So oversized card topper for the Tigers. go next box number four how long we at this one so far 28 29 minutes not too bad I should be able to pick up the pace a little bit One side.
All right, here it is, last pack in this box. Looking for the 426 to 500, looking for the autos, looking for the actions, looking for the relics. And here comes something. What do we got? A little Luis Garcia action for the Nationals. That is an action card. So action for the Nats. So here's a Thai France 493. So that falls in our numbering range Let's find another auto. Two boxes back to back. Let's find another one. 485. Ah, uh, 448, Matt Olson. All right. One sec, guys. All right, second side. We should find our hit in this side. Up oh, just under the range, 425. I uh, would have got Brad Boxberger, numbering 492 there. Oh, and here it is. I did not miss this one. How about a J.D. Martinez auto coming up? Who's got the Red Sox? Doug F. ROA. Real one auto coming your way, buddy. J.D. Martinez. Very nice. So I said, let's find two autos and two boxes back to back. There it is. J.D. Red Sox auto coming your way, Doug. Beautiful. Congrats. 470 Victor Robles. All right, that does it for that box. Not too bad. Two autos in a row is always great in Heritage. <coughs> Sometimes they're two for the whole case. So let's hope that the other side also gets some nice autos in there. All right, here we go. Next box. Box number five. Here's a good one for you guys if you have any interest in Vegas. So there's this like little dinky uh, hotel. Aaron Nola is our oversized card topper here, Philadelphia. Just a little dinky off-strip hotel called uh, the Artisan. It's over off of Sahara, kind of as it meets the strip over on that side of town, like on the north side going toward downtown, right? Recently came out in the news that this place, so like if you guys know much about Vegas in the last 10, 12 years, like the, the, 
nickel and diming is out of control, like the resort fees and this fee and that fee and whatever else. <coughs> well, this place now is charging people four ninety five, so five dollars a day for electricity. I'm not even kidding. They're they're subsidizing their electricity costs by charging their hotel patrons four ninety five per day for electricity. Like, are you kidding me? Wow. It is not a tourist friendly city anymore like it once was. The gouging is like out of control. All right, there's one. One sec. Here comes the second side. my stack over. All right, last pack right there. All right, let's start with this side. Here is a black frame of Hey Zeus. And again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the black borders are uh, to 50, right? Hey Zeus for the A's black border. Four eighty one, Jason Hayward, Cubbies. Looking for another real one auto, hopefully, or clubhouse collection. All right, 464, Craig Kimbrell for the Cubbies. Uh, what do we got? Hernandez, 466. All right, that's one side. One sec here, guys. All right, here comes the other side. I think we're going to find our hit in this side. And here it is. It is an Andujar 
Clubhouse Collection Relic for the Yankees. So Clubhouse Collection, Miguel Andujar. Yankees, and this one belonged to Dave S. There you go, Dave. Yankees doing all right today. Pulled that beautiful Aaron Judge Otto in the uh, Diamond Kings just a bit ago. 467 for the Mariners. So we pulled our hit. Now let's find some uh, actions or team colors or something happening here. Are the Frenches still a thing this year? The yellow, right? 456. Are the French back, is that what they are? Four sixty nine Tapia for the Rockies. Four seventy four, Josh Reddick. And last little bit from this box. All right, that does it for that one. Going into box number six. All right, here it is, guys, last box. And we have an oversized card topper of Mookie Betts, Dodgers. All right, last one on that side. Second side. All right, that's it. Last pack out of this break. Start on the left. So we've pulled two real one autos so far out of this one. Let's find another one. What's our range again? 426 to 500, right?
nothing. You get 411 on the Tommy Fam, which is just below that range. And what do we got? We got a Gonzalez 489. So that does fall in the range. 436, uh, David Peralta, Diamondbacks. All right, nothing else. So our hit's got to be on that side. One sec. All right, here we go. Last stack of this six boxes. Four thirty seven, Rich Hill, Twins. Four forty five Guerrera D backs. All right, well, here it is, and it is a clubhouse collection of Aaron Nola. Philadelphia Phil's getting the last hit. Clubhouse Collection Relic, Aaron Nola. And last little bit here. And we have something, something. Tim Anderson, White Sox. It is, what is the, uh, is it a flip stock or what's going on? We got the white back going on. But that is definitely uh, a variation. You guys tell me, what does the white back represent? So that's a hit right there. White Sox, and this one belongs to Neil. Got a 572 Crawford uh, Chrome or silver, silver border. Will Smith, and the last one is a Miggy 107. Guys, that is it. Uh, thanks again for getting that one filled. All cards will be shipping to you, as I've mentioned about 47 times throughout the break, but uh, I just want to reiterate it one more time, especially for new breakers that are coming on board with us. Every card ships every single time, guys. Thanks again for filling it, and these will be shipped out in the next shipping batch out of Vegas.